Casting their last minute votes in Dunedin's Octagon on Saturday morning as local body elections came to an end on the stroke of noon. Council staff braved drizzle to collect ballot papers from passing motorists, with the final voter turnout being 45%, almost exactly the same as three years ago. The election seen a minor reshuffle amongst Dunedin City's 14 councillors, with Aaron Hawkins upgrading to Mayor, Kate Wilson and Conrad Steadman choosing to stand down, and radio host Damien Newell failing to be re-elected. The four new councillors are Steve Walker, Carmen Houlihan, Jules Radich and Sophie Barker, and they all say they're looking forward to addressing their areas of interest. I think we're going to have some challenging times in the next uh, few years with the hospital rebuild and getting the centre city working. I think that's really important. That seems to me to be what people are quite concerned about, but it is about managing growth as well. I think it's really important for us to decide what we want the city to look like and to plan towards that. I think the planning is one of the most important things that we can do. Well, naturally I'd like to see the groin get built, rebuilt, you know, just that groin repaired. And, uh, you know, I think that's very important for our uh, for climate change resistance, you know, and that is a significant protection for South Dunedin. Uh, Aaron's very motivated to look after South Dunedin and provide social housing, so it's important that we have a higher beach, you know, a much better beach there, so that everyone living behind that beach can feel more secure. Well, I'd love arts, obviously. I've got really strong arts background and business. The startup community and entrepreneurship are my other thing I'm passionate about. And anything with children, because I've got two children of my own. Uh, so family, um, you know, sort of things. But for me, business and arts would be the areas I'd love to work in. The feedback we got knocking on the doors is people are sick and tired of councillors shouting at each other, not agreeing. Um, not thinking about the city first. So I'd like to see the guys working, uh, guys and girls working collaboratively on a personal level, obviously with my connections to the Wildlife Hospital. I am really passionate about our native environment. And as I said, consistently on, on the campaign trail, everything we must do must be done within the context of the challenge of our generation. That of course is climate change. The four new councillors are set to undergo an induction process to give them the tools to navigate the sometimes complex process of local governance. In Dunedin, the South Today.